Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave is here, and I am cheap. Sure. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and I'd like to welcome you back to my 2013 Year in Review. I had a really strange 2013, so instead of a traditional top 10, I'm giving you a series of strange awards. As always, I will remind you with any list or attempt to rank things in any manner, it's completely subjective, so if you don't see your favorite whatever here, I'm sorry, I probably didn't play it. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get to the award. Not a game of the year. The Merriam-Webster Dictionary defines a video game as an electronic game played by means of images on a video screen and often emphasizing fast action. But ultimately, video games are a lot like pornography. I know them when I see them. To that end, there were a whole heck of a lot of games released this year that clearly and undisputably are not games. Am I right? No, actually, I'm not right. I'm not right at all, because what it is that defines a game is really still undefined at this point. If you're using a definition that is 5 or 10 or 20 years old, well, maybe you're doing it wrong. And while I can't really get into this whole debate with you right here and now, if you don't want to label something as a video game, that's great. And the only reason this category even exists in this award show is to bring light to the fact that there are a lot of games out there that are more narrative and story driven and maybe don't stack up exactly the same as some kind of a Twitch shooter or in-depth puzzle platformer. And maybe a silly category like this isn't really a good way to actually recognize a game that was more narrative focused, but hey, it's kind of the thing everybody else is doing this year, so why should I be left off that train? There were several games that came out this year which people were quick to slap with a not a game label. Titles like Proteus, The Novelist, and The Stanley Parable told very specific stories in very specific ways, proving to be great commentaries on life, nature, or video games themselves. And while these guys all make great runners up, they were not my not a game of 2013. So without any further ado, my not a game of 2013 is Gone Home. The thing about this game that really, whoa, excuse me, the thing about this interactive narrative fiction experience that really hooked me wasn't just the main story that the game had to tell. It was the ancillary story that was there, the story that was in all of the objects that you could pick up and read, the story of the Greenbrier family. It worked to both inform the narrative and stood completely separate from the narrative. You could find out about the circumstances through which the family inherited the house, the father's writing career, the mother's job transfer, and her subsequent... Well, I don't want to say anything that would ruin it for people who haven't played it, but all of that information worked so well to build the Greenbriars into a living family that really existed. And it helped to inform the narrative as it moved forward. You didn't need to find that information, but finding it created a much clearer picture of what was going on in this family in the time that your character had been away. Look, I expected Gone Home to be good. I'd been following its development for some time. I knew it was going to be something special, but what I got was a beautiful story told in a wonderful way that really could only be achieved through the medium of video games. And that's why Gone Home is my not a game of the year for 2013. Did you enjoy some other not a game this year more than Gone Home? Well, go ahead and tell me about it in the comments below. Otherwise, hang around for more year in review silliness here on Big Dave is Cheap. I have been Big Dave, and as always, take it easy.